December 14, 1914, the soldiers fighting in World War I had a Christmas truce. What entailed was the opposing sides playing soccer, singing, dancing, and just having a great time on Christmas. And like war, the game Fortnite has battling. So today, I'm going to be seeing if the Christmas truce actually works by Christmas emoting around the map and seeing if people kill me. Will I succeed? I don't know. Enjoy the video. As I loaded into my first match, I started a timer for one hour. If I can't complete it in an hour, I have to do a challenge from the comments. So comment a challenge for me to do and I'll put it in my next video. That is if I don't win. And immediately when I hit the ground, I started the challenge. I landed at Lavish Lair. However, there was a problem. There was a bot currently shooting at me. And I wasn't exactly sure how to get out of this area. And of course I had a bounty on me. Now, full disclaimer, this is probably a bot lobby, as I haven't played Fortnite in a bit. And so I kept on going. Until somebody started shooting me and my first game came to an end. By Tiny My game was ended by none other than Tiny Seahorse 2532. This is definitely not a bot. In this next game, I decided to go to Rizzi Rivera. I glided into the map and immediately when I hit the ground, I started emoting. Then I checked what would happen if I got hit by the train, and it bounced me out of my emote. So I guess I broke the rules a little bit. Then I thought this was a great method for transportation. Riding on the train for the full game? Now that's pretty skibbity. The storm was about to catch up to me so I had to start moving. And then it happened, a face off. I tried my best to escape by going all the way around the mountain. But unfortunately that didn't work and eventually I met right up with the guy. Luckily he was like a gigabot and somehow he didn't shoot me. Until he did and I died. Bridge Builder 87. You've gotta be yanking my penis. Next game, hopefully it goes a bit better. I decided to land Pleasant Plaza because I've never been there. Seems like a pretty banger spot to land. Except the fact that there's a person like right there. I'm making my escape. And he continued to shoot me. Then it was as if I was cornered. He got me going around a rock. And my strat was to go around the rock until I could see him. And then turn around and go the other direction. This really shows how bad the bots in Fortnite are. This is actually crazy. And then I made a run for it. <laughs> I couldn't resist adding a spray in this tunnel. Did you know that you can actually emote up these stairs? I had no idea you can do this and I never would have guessed you could. And then somebody started shooting me again. That's great. I fell unintentionally. I really didn't think that was a drop off. I don't know why. But I kept on emoting. Because we could never stop. Never back down, never what. People were still shooting me but I kept going. I was trying my hardest to avoid people, and then I thought I was chilling. I thought I was doing fine, but then something stupid happened. Yep, that guy just shot me. Egg with no salt. This time I decided to drop Rebel's Roost. Alright, I think it's time to explain what's going on with this video. This is my second channel for Fortnite content, and my main channel is Gavin Skangle, or at Gavney. This video was originally going to go on there, but I just kind of forgot and procrastinated it at the same time. I made a quick stop at the gas station as well. I saw some shooting as well, so I didn't want to go towards that. But then they started shooting at me, so it was not looking great. It's okay though, they were just a bot. Because one, I play on Nintendo Switch. And two, these are my first games of the new season. So these are like double bot lobbies. I was in the top 15, which I felt good about. Then, then I had an encounter with a guy. And I thought he was trying to shoot me. However, that was a different guy. And this guy ended up doing the emote with me. I met up with him and we started doing the emote together. It's cross-teaming at its finest. But it is Christmas time, so cut me some slack. Even if we do fail this challenge, we know that the Fortnite community is still there. And this guy really cares. Also, how is this guy in my lobby? I thought I had a bunch of bots. He then morphed into a doggo and continued to emote. Then he started fighting to protect me. But it didn't quite work. Shout out to Mikey733. This guy is amazing. This guy's a legend for real. 
Look at him just doing trick points on his bike. I stayed around to spectate him, and he got into an intense sniper battle at the end, ending in his eventual death. But he still got second place, and he emoted with me, so what a legend. Next, I decided to queue ranked squads for my final game. My teammates are going to be mad at me for this one. <laughs> they, they are going to be so mad, actually, though. These guys are trying to play ranked. What's good is I'm the lowest rank possible, so I don't know how I could rank down from this. I'm probably going to be putting, like, bronze one or something. Let's go head first into the train. Oh, yeah. I then went over to my teammates and started emoting. I don't think my teammate liked it, though, because he threw down a shockwave to get me out of the emote. However, I continued to annoy him. And then my entire team was dead. I did not know what to do here. It was down to a 3v1, which was basically a 3v0 because I couldn't even shoot. Even though I failed the challenge, I had a great time doing so.